Hi ladies and gentlemen, today is October 31st when I'm recording this. Quick introduction to this video on top of anything else that I say today. I hope that this inspires others to go out and do similar things. We need to shout this from the housetops. We went out to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada today and basically the purpose of the demonstration was to inform the members of the military that they are being used by the New World Order, that, th that they're not being used to support the Constitution. That the military has been used to pretend to go after ISIS and Al-Qaeda, all the while really the administration, the New World Order, the banking system, the military, security, intelligence, industrial complex, the CIA, etc., actually funding, supporting, and arming ISIS and Al-Qaeda, etc., and unleashing it on the world, sort of like a wind-up toy. Let it go and then let it wreak its havoc. You know, they just sent 50, or they're getting ready to send 50 special forces, as I mentioned in the last video, to Syria to help the moderate rebels who are supposedly fighting ISIS. You know, the, the propaganda, I mean, I just hope people can see what's really going on here. At any rate, the point of the demonstration was to help wake up the military that are asleep. Now, while we were out there, we spent about two and a half hours, and uh, we don't show it all here, of course, on the video. But what I do want to tell you is, is that, yes, we were being watched by security and by police. Uh, we noticed Las Vegas Metropolitan Police watching us quite closely. Uh, just as we were getting ready to pack up, five LVPD officers, cruisers actually, the base security duty officer and a civilian police officer guard came out to confront us. Uh, they asked us what our intentions were. I thought that was pretty obvious. It's interesting that they ask a question that's very obvious. But we went ahead and talked to them and told them that, you know, we were out there to try to wake up the military and that uh, we want them to uphold their oath of office, all of them, to the Constitution of the United States. And that our intention now, at that point in time, was to go and have dinner, a beer, and relax a little bit because we're leaving. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope that this inspires you to, to go out and do the same thing. We need to do this across the country at every military installation that we can in any way that you feel that will be beneficial. But it, we need to speak up and we need to be heard. Shout these iniquities from the housetops. The people are starting to wake up. The military is supposed to be the most awake. I hear commentators say that. I personally don't believe it. Uh, what I see, the few that I talk to, the purges in the military from the top down to get the officers and senior NCOs out that will not support the New World Order or the craziness of, of turning the military machine against the American people. It's like I said, they've pretty much been purged. There are people in the military that are good. I'm not saying that there aren't. There are good people in the police departments. I'm not saying that there aren't. But it's getting harder and harder to, to discover who the, 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 the friends of the American people are and who their real enemies are in the government. Unfortunately, I think it's way too far gone where most of them are enemies of the American people, those who are serving in government positions now. Okay, we're at uh, Craig and Nellis in Las Vegas, Cal uh, Nevada, I said California, doing a protest against the military industrial security intelligence complex for supporting ISIS, and it took Russia to get serious against ISIS, because ISIS is, a, is a, basically a proxy army for the CIA and the military industrial complex of the West. So here we are. Brand, go ahead and blow your shofar. It says looking for terrorists. Go to the White House. <laughs> so, I need these steps. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. Can we try this here? Okay, we're at Nellis Air Force Base. We're here demonstrating, of course, against the military industrial complex for supporting ISIS, allowing Christians to be killed, 
slaughtered, tortured, so that they can have hegemony in the rogue government of the United States. This is not a constitutional republic anymore. We have been invaded. Our government has been usurped by criminals. The criminal government no longer uses law to protect the citizens. Their law is no longer a shield to the people. It is a weapon against the people. Here at the intersection of Craig and Nellis and some other road at the main entrance to Nellis Air Force Base. Very small over on the other side, but uh, we're doing what we can. A lot of people will be seeing what's going on here. One of our simple messages to the military and to the police, actually anyone who's taken that oath, see your shirt again. This man here that's depicted on this shirt does more to that than the clown we have in the White House or the clowns we have in Congress or the Supreme Court. Most cops, most military, you guys don't know what your oath to the Constitution means. be criminals, but you're negligent, grossly negligent. I think I got a picture of this already, but I'm going to do another one. And the reign of John McCain from uh, Pete Santilli's protest down in Phoenix. I've seen a couple of, uh, I've seen a couple of the military as they go by, we're giving us thumbs up or clapping. So uh, I think we're at least making a little headway, bringing this to attention. So, yeah, you know, hopefully we can wake a few more people up. Yes, and I'll just say this again here real quick. The whole idea of this is, is that the United States had a sacred duty to protect the lives, liberty, and happiness of people around the world. And instead, we have not honored our oaths. We've gone against it. And as a result, now we support groups, terrorist groups. We are the largest country of state-sponsored terrorism in the world. We have killed, by this time, millions of innocent people for the PNAC. If you don't know what the PNAC is, go back and read it. Cheney, Rumsfeld, those guys wrote up a report called the PNAC. And you can read it for yourself, the Project for a New American Century, where they said they needed a new Pearl Harbor to change this nation and to get control of the world. Well, that Pearl Harbor was 9-11, and they did it. It's an inside job. Release the 28 pages and let our military do the job it's supposed to do, not be the aggressors in an empire-building scam. Yeah. Amen! Yeah. Amen! Amen! Every child that was killed by every drone was a a child that I am I am willing to make that sacrifice. So not I am willing to make those sacrifices son. of those children that were killed by jump by drones. So I think you get the idea. That's a satire. That's a satire. That's what this the man that this costume represents. That's what he does. He kills the innocent and lets the the guilty go. Steal the goods and the substance of the people. 
Well, he's not the only one. Bush did the same. So did Clinton. On and on back. We have got to return to our constitutional republic. Well, we just saw our first Las Vegas Metro Police Department vehicle come by. They obviously called to have a report taken at the base here. Uh, you know what, Nellis, if you're going to be the sissies, like I said you were in my video not too long ago, this entire military is a sissy pussy. Yeah, you're going to call the Las Vegas Military uh, <laughs> Metropolitan Police Department out here to try to stop the American people from saying what this damnable military industrial complex of the Western Hemisphere is doing to the people of this world. Well, I'll tell you what, you're no better than Imperial Rome, and you're going to suffer the same fate. We're all wearing, or a lot of us are wearing these shirts here. It says, New World Order, Nyet with President Putin of Russia on the front. America funds ISIS. Thought I'd show you another little thing here. End of the reign of McCain. We've got that out here on my camera tripod. Stop the war machine. But tell us about your Nobel Peace Prize, Obama. One thing perfectly clear. You can either stand with the American government and ISIS, or you can stand with Russia. End of the story. Say again? At least we're getting some looks. We're right outside the gates in Ellis Air Force Base. And we're definitely getting a lot of looks, some uh, very questioning looks. But uh, we got some attention, and uh, that's what we're after. We want attention. And to bring this to light, you know, the fallacies, the abominations, and the folly of the United States government and its Obama administration. Absolutely. Thanks, Brand. You're welcome. If anybody's out there and wants to come by, we'll be here for a few hours. Yeah, let's what's that again? Constitution, not a caliphate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we are up in the front of the gates of Nellis Air Force Base doing a demonstration um, praising Russia for killing of ISIS and uh, bringing attention to the fact that the United States government and the Obama administration have done nothing but exhibit folly, abominations, and have done nothing basically to kill ISIS but to sponsor ISIS. And to allow the slaughter, torture, and murder of Christians and other peoples around the world. 10,000! Tens of thousands! So just in case uh, I didn't show you my shirt, here it is. He does more to stop the New World Order and to fight terrorism than anybody in this country. Shame, shame. Just so you know, we just saw our first Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department vehicle come into the base, obviously, to take a report on us. The military continues to be pussies. They wouldn't go after ISIS because they didn't honor their oaths. They'd rather call, they'd rather call constitutionalists, libertarians, gun owners, and vets the terrorists.